Once the government was fully engaged uh, in the second half of January, uh, the idea of reducing that contact, the quarantine idea that goes back for a long time, you know, that was done in a, in a very serious way. And so that, I'm very glad that that worked because that creates at least for countries that are as rich as China or richer, it creates a model. You know, China was the first to have to deal with this. It's always hardest to be the country where something emerges first because so little is known about it. But now uh, what China did uh, is helping the rest of the world. Well, um, to all the people of Wuhan, uh, you know, you made a great sacrifice uh, to be in this very strict quarantine. And, you know, I'm very glad that it succeeded, uh, but I'm sure that the difficulties uh, were very great. And so we're thankful that uh, you made these sacrifices. You know, I hope that we can get things even more back to normal uh, in the months ahead as, you know, we use testing data to see where do we still need to restrict things and where can we uh, go partially back to normal. So, you know, thank you for your sacrifices.